Hey, today I'm going to show you how to swap out the keyboard on this Acer S3 Ultrabook. Now, this is your S3, uh, I think it's 951. Um, pretty nice little thin uh, Ultrabook. And to speed things up, I've removed screws all the way around this thing already. And that's pretty straightforward. It just, this uh, lid pops right open like a suitcase kind of. Now the first step um, is to I'd say remove the hard drive. There's one screw right here to remove. And there's normally a piece of tape right here. Um, I've already taken that off. But while pressing down on the USB ports, pull the hard drive connector from the system board. And there's your hard drive. This is also upgradable to a solid state drive like the Samsung 840 series. This is a seven millimeter disc. You can't use a nine and a half millimeter. You must use a seven. So make sure it's seven millimeter. So once you have the hard drive out and probably want to make sure the battery's unplugged too here. Mine's already unplugged, but always unplug your battery uh, whenever you're working on these things. So we need to remove these two screws holding the battery in using a flathead screwdriver which I actually don't have here you need to just loosen the battery from the unit now next step you need to remove these electrical connect these connectors right here just use your fingernails to get them out that should give us enough room to start prying up the battery now you just lift these off it's held down by double-sided tape and set that aside like that. There's also this one I almost forgot. The speaker wire goes across here. Also, it just goes on this little tape area. I almost broke it there. One, just always, uh, always be careful. Just be slow. Slow movements. Um, here's your battery. Real tiny. Once you have the battery out, you have full access to your touchpad um, right here. So what I'd recommend next is uh, need to go and start to remove um, this piece. <clears throat> You'll notice it's held in by a screw. This is the wireless LAN card. I guess, yeah, you can set that aside, just keep the screw in it. This is some kind of uh, board, I'm not sure what that's for, but um, anyway, once that's off, you just check for clearance here. Anything that's obstructing the system board, the keyboard connector needs to be unplugged. I've already actually unplugged that. Uh, you just pull these things out here. Now there's one screw holding the motherboard in. Just, just one. Let's take that out. You also need to unplug the touchpad, which I've already done as well. And unplug I'd recommend pulling this tape off. This tape is holding some wires. I go to the speakers. 
and just pull those out like that. I also need to unplug this connector right here. This is the power button. And probably got to do an unplug whatever this is. This looks like uh, wireless antenna. There you go. Let's see if we have it out here. And we lot we still have one connection. This is the display. Pulls out that way. Just go go slow on these things so you don't end up damaging anything. And the motherboard is out. Now you have access for the keyboard. Now you are gonna have to remove this tape around here. Tape. Um, and you'll need a really tiny screwdriver to get these screws. I'm going to actually have to use a smaller eyeglass screwdriver to do it, but remove the screws. Um, keyboard should come straight out. Actually, it looks like it is a... Yeah, these are some really tiny screws right here. This is slightly too big, but it is actually taking them out okay. But, yeah, I'm going to continue working on this. The reassembly is... Uh, just the reverse of disassembly.